it's uh, a long way and yet it was part of all those pioneers uh, from Lindbergh who surveyed the place to Captain Baird to all of the celebrities, film actresses and film stars and people of well-known repute who uh, travelled here to find the biggest civilian airport in Europe uh, during uh, the Second World War it speaks for itself. Actually, we see this commemoration as being the start of another journey for Foynes because you've got your port, you've got the rail, the, the, the rail line to be developed and of course you've got the development of uh, Shannon Airport or Rhinana as it used to be known that flat area of bogland north of here which is now a crucial part of infrastructure for the Midwest and is the recipient already of benefits from decisions made by government of breaking up what was there before of uh, following through on the abolishing of travel tax with consequential announcements by airlines of significant numbers of new people coming in here uh, and obviously the future is bright in the sense of capacity for freight and further uh, potential along the world just as Ryanair have done for short haul flight such a short time there are now serious signs of other potential for and we know that they're coming from New York and from places beyond and when eventually they landed in Shannon and then were transferred here to Fines to be flown off by flying boat to other places around Europe speaks for itself of that part of, uh, of our development. So your museum is magnificent and obviously people, young people have an intense interest in engineering, in mechanics, in flight, in coordinates and when I think that in the next couple of months, they're going to land a small spacecraft on a comet which is about 300 mi million miles away. Speaks for itself of the way that this has developed in our, in our world. So Foynes plays its part in aviation history. Foynes plays its part in so many memories for so many people. That's why it's a privilege to be here with you on this day to unveil this stone which will point the way to the future for a new development for, for Foynes based on its history. Uh, time's up ahead. I hope that somebody comes here again in 80 years and say, look what they've done in the meantime. That they've built this place up, they've made another